Hello and welcome to my channel. Wait, my dog is just hanging out the window. Nala, what are you doing? The window's open. Come on, what? What? I've just been like exposed as well because I'm in my pajama trousers, but they're my comfiest things. What the hell? I have never been so scared in my life. I don't even know if you saw, but she was like nearly leaning out the window. What the hell? Oh, and now she just lays on the sofa like she just did nothing wrong. Let me get my heart rate back down. <laughs> what i want to say a huge happy pride month and that is the inspiration for this video and for the start of this series that i will be starting i wore this because it's kind of rainbow not really i don't know and it's sunday so how could i not wear this as it's kind of a rainbow and it's sunday and it's pride month I really wanted to do like a pride themed makeup look and I've seen so many people do it all over Instagram and it was really hard to kind of think of something that I haven't seen already and that's not to say that what I've come up with someone hasn't done before or anything but I just wanted to really kind of switch it up a bit. I kind of wanted to do a colour block series so that is what I'm going to be doing today. So I'm going to have a picture of the pride Pride flag come up here. I'm going to be doing a makeup look surrounding each colour on the flag. The first colour I'm going to be doing is red. So this makeup tutorial is going to be a very heavily red themed makeup look. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. But then my next tutorial will be orange and then yellow and green and etc. And I'll just go down the flag. This intro has gone on for far too long so I'm just going to get straight into the mu into the music video who do i think i am hey who do i think i am who do you think you are for a star to stand on the window still if you would like to see what red makeup look i create then please keep watching i'm scared but i know what i want to do i want to do a spotlight eye so i'm nervous why am i nervous i should now be nervous what I am nervous about is the amount of palettes I have on my side. So 11 palettes on my side and all of them have like one red in. So there might be a lot of palettes that I go through in this tutorial. When it comes to reds, look at your blushes. The Primark blush and highlight palette. And yeah, this is like a really nice like corally colour. So if you mix that with other shadows, it can make it really red. I want to start with a really bright colour and I'm going to be using this Urban Decay full spectrum palette and it is this shade here it's called Seas. I've got my 217 MAC fluffy brush and I'm going to put that in the crease now I've done that I'm going to go into the Barry M Fall in Love palette because this is the only kind of real red that I've got that hasn't got a lot of orangey or pink tones in it and this is quite dark so I'm going to be using this to kind of cut the crease a bit just to contour the eye and I'm going to use the same brush as I did before. So after that, I'm going to be going into the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. And I'm going to be using this colour up here. And I don't know if they've still got it available. But it is in the shade Punk. Really, really dark brownie red. And I'm going to be putting that into the crease again. Just to kind of make it really smoky. Now I've placed it, what I'm going to do is get an oversized fluffy brush. And this is by e.l.f. And this is actually a concealer brush. But I'm going to be using this in my eye just to blend out the colours that I've just put down. So now I've done that it's time to cut the crease but I'm going to be using the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Concealer. I did used to have a sponge on it but I hated the sponge. I hate I would never apply it with the sponge because it's really uncomfortable like hurt and I think it just sucks up a load of product and it's like unhygienic and things like that so I just Pulled it off, just slide it off, so now I've got this little nozzle. This concealer brush, double-ended concealer brush by Primark, I'm going to be using this to cut the crease. And I'm going to be using these smaller ends so I've got more precision. And I'm going to put that into the concealer. And I'm just going to start in the middle and kind of create my shape. So once I've done that, do not look up because it will smudge it. I'm going to get 
a flat eyeshadow brush. I just got this one. It's normally used for like inner corner highlights. And I'm going back into the Barry M Fall in Love palette. And I'm going to be using that white eyeshadow. I'm hoping, oh, don't look up. I'm hoping that you can see. I'm going to be using this white eyeshadow just to set it. And I just had a little play with some products on the back of my hand because what I wasn't sure on to use was a actual lipstick or a liquid lipstick. I know liquid lipstick is like easier to move in a way, but then it could be really thick. Um, but what I found is it's actually a lot easier to use with a brush using the liquid lipstick, but just be so careful and do not like smother it. The one that I'm going to be using is the Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick in 714. This is in a matte and it's waterproof. So just make sure that it is matte and long wearing because if it's like a bit tacky or anything, because it's on your lid and your eyes gonna be moving, it could get really messy. So I'm hoping this is going to work. I'm gonna put it in the middle because we're doing a spotlight eye. Just gonna tap it on. Probably should not have used the applicator, but we're going with it. And now I have a small eyeshadow flat brush. And I'm just going to kind of... What I'm actually gonna do, instead of using the applicator, I'm gonna put some on my hand and get a brush. Just kind of use that to apply it. <laughs> Done that i'm gonna go back in with that red color and the barry and fall in love palette and i'm gonna put that on the outer corners kind of like the gaps on the lid so the white bits on the lid i'm gonna fill them in so as you can see it's not as pigmented as the lipstick in the middle which is fine because i'm now gonna go over that colour going into the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette and I'm going to be using Enfuego which is this colour right here which is like a really dark burnt red and kind of merge it a bit into the red centre of the lipstick. I'm going to go into this Delancey palette, it's an all glitter palette, I'll have it linked in the description down below but I'm going to go in with this colour here, this red glitter and I'm just going to put it over where I've put the lipstick. I've only put the tiniest bit of glitter on because I don't want it too glittery. Now I've done that, I'm going to do the bottom lash line. And I'm basically just going to mimic what is on the top. The dark colours that we used on the top, on the outside, but leave a gap in the middle to put the red lipstick in. And yeah, just mimic the top. Now I've done that, I'm going to be using the MAC feline coal power eye pencil to line my waterline i think this is a first i don't think i've ever done a red smoky eye well spotlight smoky eye ting i don't actually think i've done a red eye anything so i'm gonna use the urban decay perversion mascara it's a little mini one i love mini sample mascaras I'm not gonna lie Right, so I'm going to be using the Natural Lash Salon System Eyelashes in Intense 201. And of course, I'm going to be putting on a red lip. I'm going to use a dark lip liner. So I'm going to be using the Primark Lip Liner in... I don't think it has a name. Instagirl Kissable Lip Liner Pencil. It's in just a really, really dark red. So I'm going to be just lining my lips with this. And next, I'm going to be going in with the Urban Decay 714 Liquid Lipstick. Just to darken the corners up a little bit, I'm going to go in with this pencil again, just to darken it up a little bit. I love it, it's so like sultry and like, oh, with the smoke in it, <gasps> I just love it. I think the more I look at it, I'm like, ee! oh, I think I'm excited because I don't actually think I've done a red eye look before that isn't red eyeliner. I think that's the closest I've got to it. I haven't had this feeling in such a long time where I've like tried something completely new and loved it this much. So please let me know if you liked this makeup tutorial. I'm loving it. I love it so much. Yes, yes, yes.
guys if you did love it please let me know and also let me know if you're looking forward to this series that i'm bringing onto my channel i'm so excited for it if you're not already make sure you follow me on my instagram page i have my handle up here and i also have it linked in the description down below if you like this video please let me know by leaving a comment down below hitting the thumbs up button and also pretty pretty please press the subscribe button so you do not miss any of the other looks that I'm doing in this series as well as other beauty looks and hauls and all things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you super soon in the next video and it will be an orange. It is orange isn't it? Bye!